Today on Greg's Garage, we're going to put this master cylinder into that Carmen Ghia. Check it out. First things first, most people use a pry bar or something like that for Volkswagen hubcaps. Uh, I glued or welded, however you want to say that. I metal glued <laughs> a couple nails, just kind of bent them over to a piece of pipe. Uh, that gives me pretty good leverage. We do have the proper footwear here for Greg's garage. Just like that. We're here on the driver's side of the car here in the U.S., of course. I know there are some international people who have the uh, the other side there on the on the right side. We do it on the left over here. You can see mine has been modified I have a reservoir there right on top of the master cylinder and that may be actually causing the problems I don't know we're gonna do a little inspection after we get it out of here uh, but there's three steel lines there's one whoa lost our light I have to call the uh, lighting crew there the electrician yeah. three steel lines one two and then on the top for three there's also two electrical uh, switches down below so we'll disconnect those two guys uh, and the three guys there and uh, hopefully sneak that guy out of there we'll have to do a little bit of work in the car as well We're standing here by our old frame. Uh, you can see this. So uh, this is the spot inside the car that the master cylinder usually sits. I'm going to see if I can hang that light right there, uh, just so we have a little extra. So uh, when you're inside the car, and we're going to go in there in just a minute, you got to be real careful. There's actually spacers uh, that go into these little holes that keep this. I'm going to call it a bulkhead from crushing, and uh, you can. Most people like to just take the bolts out just a little bit, you know, just enough to get the master cylinder out and not take them out of the holes and then the things won't, uh, the spacers won't fall down in. But if they do, you can take a magnet and stick it in here and sometimes you'll find one. I don't know if I've got them in here. I've got something, a washer, a quarter. Sweet. Just made 25 cents. This repair is paying off. Uh, hmm. Uh, I don't know if i got an old spacer in there or not, but... Logic tells me I should have. We've got a whole shitload of rust. We're in here behind the pedal assembly. There's a couple 13 millimeter bolts. I'm trying to do this uh, left handed there that need our attention. So we'll just uh, turn these loose here. And that should free up our master cylinder. A little quarter inch will uh, give you a little more clearance than the uh, 3 8 Let's see if we can sneak that little guy back in there. Look at that. Look at that. We got it. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to finish taking these little guys out, and uh, I'll bring you back for the extraction here. Yeah, this will just uh, slide right out. You can see I've got some plastic down uh, to catch the brake fluid. You know, brake fluid and paint aren't very good friends. Uh, so you want to be sure to protect everything so uh, you know you don't get brake fluid on your nice paint job so anyway uh, there we are we're free and clear I'm gonna pull that sucker out of there we'll get the new one uh, ready to go we're gonna take our pressure switches off of this one and the note here is that the pins are up that seems to be the easiest way uh, to get the wiring on so we're gonna hopefully be able to replicate that on our new one so we'll get these swapped over to there. <clears throat> it's always interesting you know to look at the old parts and the new parts. Um, this one has the same stampings as the new part with one exception well or maybe not this one has a stamping there that I don't see here but it might just be worn off um, but this is a Varga piece so we're replacing like pieces. I'm not sure uh, if that's the number we're looking for there. But, uh, you know, that, that gives us a pretty good story there. And, uh, you know, there we are. 
I don't know about all the numbers. This, this looks the same. That looks the same. You know, pretty much everything looks the same. What I did was flip this master cylinder uh, backwards because the clearance here, there wasn't really enough. The reservoir backwards, I'm sorry. There wasn't enough clearance to get this in. And I know when I put it in initially, uh, I put the whole master cylinder in. Then I pop, tried to pop the reservoir on, and this is a real tight fit here. And when I took it apart, this wasn't fully engaged. That may be why this one was failing. I don't know. But, uh, you know, somebody said sometimes these aren't a great idea, these little reservoirs. I'm going to give it another shot. You know, if we have continued problems, I'll pop this off. We'll pop on the original uh, type of reservoir, which is a remote reservoir. We'll pop it on and, and just go. You know, I'm not going to second guess it. Uh, if we have another failure, it's this one's got to go. But uh, I think we'll be able to make it work. Now's a great time to clean up any spills that you might have made. And uh, then we commence to putting it all back together. You want to line your little pin up so that it goes in the boot. And uh, you know, sometimes this is a little bit of a trick. Sort of the old, uh, you know, find the hole game. And it looks like we found it. That's good. We'll just slide that forward. Now we'll uh, go inside the car. I'll probably hook this little light up because it'll keep the back end up a little bit. So uh, now we'll go in the car and we'll tighten all that up. All right. Got them started. And we're just going to tighten them up tightened up now you can just see the boots kind of wrinkly usually I think you give them a push or two like that yeah. and they'll straighten out for you so uh, yeah now we'll go back to the underside again oh yeah back to the uh, tight spaces here I started every one of these by hand uh, and made sure they went in you know a few turns nice and easy the last thing you want to do is cross thread these brake lines because uh, if you do, you'll be replacing brake lines. And the two up front aren't incredibly difficult, especially uh, this one right here. You know, it's just a... But, uh, you know, the one to the back here, the one I'm working on, uh, it's a pain in the ass. got to pull all the carpet out. And, you know, you got to put the car on a lift, basically, to get to it. I know you can do it without a lift, but, boy, it is a pain in the butt. Yeah, i got to fill her up, fill her up. See, we got her good and drippy there. Uh... I have to clean all that up, you know, make sure we don't uh, screw our paint up any worse than it already is. Uh, but we'll wipe that up and then we'll bleed the brakes. We're going to attempt to do, uh, because the brake lines are already pretty well full of fluid, uh, sometimes you can get away with doing what's called a gravity uh, bleed, where you just open up uh, the lines here at the master cylinder and you just let gravity sort of do its work and then tighten everything back up. So I already did it to our furthest away, which is our rear brake, which is the one back here. The next one is here. I'm just gonna open it up and we're gonna wait till the fluid comes out just a little bit and then we'll tighten we're it up. Hang on. Loosen this guy up and uh, we'll see if we can get a little pressure to maybe push us some brake fluid out. We're gonna open up the last one here and uh, we should see some spillage in the village here, hopefully. And uh, once we do, we'll just tighten her up, and then we'll get in and make sure we have good pedal. And uh, if we do, we'll call her good for now. If we don't, I'll get my wife in here, and we'll bleed them the old-fashioned way with her stepping on the pedals and all that kind of there fun stuff. There we go. We're dripping, which means we should have plenty of brake fluid in there. So we'll tighten her up. And uh, this is the last one. It's the closest to the master cylinder, so this is the uh, driver's side front tire, there. front brake, driver's side front brake. And they were good and tight, so uh, that may or may not mean we have them bled properly. Uh, we will uh, for sure get in the car and test that out, you know, and test her out in the driveway with the emergency brake, all those fun kinds of things, you know, we're not going to screw this car up because uh, we shortcut the bleeding process for sure so anyway 
that's it I'm not going to show you the old-fashioned bleeding if we have to do that I think anybody can look that up on the old tubes there so 